Welcome to Domain 5. We're going to review information about information technologies. So information technology, we've talked about this in some of the previous domains, but just to quickly review, remember that HIT, information technology, goes beyond just the electronic health record. It includes computer-assisted coding software, encoders, DRG groupers. It includes patient management software. It includes CPOE, computerized physician order entry. It includes clinical decision support systems. It includes a lot of stuff. So get familiar. And here is a great, 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 great reference. Health IT, excuse me, healthit.gov. Make sure you go to the Providers Professionals tab. And this website is really very good. It shares information in plain language, so it should help you get a real grasp for what is all-encompassing in health information technology. Understand the main goal of health IT is to improve the quality and safety of patient care. And even in just the short time that we have been working with technology in healthcare on a broader basis, you know, maybe within the last five to 10 years, it has already been proven to make a significant difference in our ability to have better patient outcomes. And this is only in its infant stages now. The benefits of electronic health records are vast, and mostly because, first of all, they're much easier to store, and second of all, they are easier to share interoperability and, uh, the, you know, when multiple providers care for the same patient, identifying patients um, for preventive diseases uh, preventive visits and screenings and monitoring patients with chronic health issues. This has got to be number one, hands down. One of the greatest benefits of technology in healthcare is our ability to take better care of the sickest. And the sickest patients are those with chronic health issues. Information in electronic health records is unilateral in its own facility if interoperability is not functional. And that's why I'm sure you've learned a lot about interoperability and you need to understand the essential concepts and how this will grow to the health information exchange. Accurate and complete information about a patient's health. Previous to the implementation of technology, the best and, and almost the only source that a, pa that a physician has had about a patient's past history and everything has typically been the patient, him or herself. Oh, when did you get your flu shot last? And when did you have that surgery? And patients tend to not be very accurate. But when it's entered in the patient's record by the health professional at the time it's being provided, then it is accurate, it is complete, and it can be depended upon for continuity of care. The ability to quickly provide improved care. When physicians have more and accurate information about a patient's past, it gives them the ability to make better decisions about what is going on with this patient and what to do next. Every time. The better ability to coordinate care. And this is important, as I mentioned before, with patients who have chronic medical conditions as well as serious medical conditions. And then you have situations where patients who have a condition such as diabetes, okay? Diabetes can be cared for by an endocrinologist as the specialist or a primary care physician, an internist, yes, okay. But what happens when that, dia when that diabetic patient develops 
diabetic retinopathy. Now, in addition to the endocrinologist and or internist, we need to bring in an ophthalmologist. And when that diabetic patient develops neuropathy, now we have to bring in a neurologist. So the the more we know and have documented accurately about a patient's condition, the better we can be about coordinating between facilities and professionals caring for a patient who has multiple conditions. And knowing about this gives us the ability to stay ahead of it, which means we can keep the patient healthier longer. This is also electronic health records and technology give us a way to share information with patients as well as caregivers using patient portals and become familiar with what the patient portal is and how it can accomplish this. EHR systems also have the ability of something that a paper health record could never ever do and that is flag potential interactions okay you know physicians and nurses are human also and they can possibly make a mistake but when this information is added into the record uh, with a barcode scanner for example before the patient is given the drug a paper document cannot go, wait a second, this patient is also on this other medication and these two medications cannot be in the same patient at the same time. But an electronic health record can do that because the electronic health record can access the patient's medicine, medical records, can access the medication logs, can access the physician's desk reference of medications and drugs and look at the um, contraindications. And it can do it in a nanosecond. Also, an EHR can ve verify that, yes, this is the right medication that the doctor ordered earlier in the day and entered, and the right dosage. Remember, problems happen without the five rights of medication um, administration. And electronic health records, with their excellent and accurate memory, reduce the need for more tests and procedures. For example, a patient goes to see a specialist, and the physician says, this new specialist says, when was the last time you had a, a blood test? Oh, I don't know, maybe six months or a year ago. Well, what test did they take? Come on, seriously? What patients do you know that really pay that much attention? The doctor gives you a piece of paper, says go to the lab, get blood, they come back, they go, oh, everything is good. All right, they don't know what tests were taken and were not taken. So without the details, the physician, the specialist, then has to order new tests, sometimes duplicate tests, wasting time, wasting money, okay? With access to the system, the physician can not only know what tests were taken, but what the accurate results were. Ah. All right. Now, you may have heard EMR, EHR, people use these interchangeably. There is a slight difference, as I explained in one of the previous domains. Okay. Um, essentially, health records include preventive care, whereas medical records only cover the diagnosis and treatment of disease, injury, or other condition. But you know what? You need to know this because it's important knowledge. But if your supervisor uses the wrong reference, don't worry about it. All right, so the content is almost identical between EHR, EMR, and paper. The difference between digital and paper is not at all. It's the difference between writing and pen and pencil. I mean, it's, there's no difference to the integrity and the accuracy of the information itself. It's just where it's written. Content is very important. We went over this in the health uh, records and data content domain, but this is worth repeating and reviewing. So review it. 
read about this in your textbook as well as reviewing these slides as you're studying for the exam because this is important. Clinical evaluations are important and the documentation that comes from them. And of course, we have those follow-up appointments. How you doing? Is the medication working okay for you? Are you feeling any better? Are you feeling any, uh, you know, adverse reactions? Oh, I see it's time for you to get your flu shot or your tetanus shot. Okay. Test results and notes when they come by computer, they're more accurate, they're more complete. This is important. And speaking of completeness, half a story is not better than none. We need the whole story. And you remember how we've been talking so much about querying. Okay, clinical documentation improvement specialists, also completeness and accuracy. This is all part of what we do. Discharges and directives, uh, advanced directives, you need to know about living wills and DNRs and things like that, as well as discharge summaries, emergency department visits, all of this, become familiar with it. Again, you want to keep reviewing and reviewing and reviewing to become really conf confident in your knowledge of this information. And formatting of the page. Now, formatting is usually a bigger issue with paper records than it is with electronic health records because those are already formatted by the technical coders. However, you should know that every page that kicks out should have, must have the patient's name and medical chart number. And there are certain other things that are going to be on their wristband. And you need to be cautious because sometimes there are still handwritten things in the healthcare process. You got to check. Okay, do you have any questions? So do other people. Make sure you ask your instructor in the discussion board. Send an email, whatever it is. You don't want to be taking the test without already knowing all the answers, right?